Hello chess friends, this is Stockfish15. Today I am gonna analysis Garry Kasparov's immortal game where he sacrificed his rook to get positional advantage. I will teach you Garry Kasparov's strategy, ideas, chess plan and more. This is the reason the video is over 13 minutes long. I analysis the game and found he played one brilliant with 95% accuracy. Before starting the video let me introduce about Garry Kasparov. He is a Russian chess grandmaster. Former world chess champion, writer, political activist and commentator. And Veselin Alexandrov Topolov is a Bulgarian chess grandmaster and former FIDE world chess champion. Let's go, Garry begins with e4. Topolov responds with d6. He wants c5 or e5 to controlling the center or he can play knight f6. d4. Knight f6. Knight c3. g6 by Topolov, he wants bishop g7. This is called puck defense not kid. Gary could play king indian. Three pawns in the center. Bishop g7. Anyway, Gary played bishop e3. G wants queen d2, long castle. Creating bishop and queen battery. White can play bishop h6. And also, if you play long castle, then you can rush with your pawns on king side. Topolov played bishop g7. Queen d2 as aspected. c6, c6 move plan is if you play long castle then black will send his army to create problems for you. So, Gary played f3. Preventing g4 square and also threatening to play g4 or h4 in long term. b5. Knight e2 move plan is to play g4. Knight g3, deflecting the h5 knight, if needed. And Veselin can play b4, which is also available. He played knight bd7, not bad. Bishop h6. Since black have a dark square bishop right side of the board, white wants to exchange the bishop to create some dark square weaknesses. Bishop, takes h6. Queen takes bishop. Veselin played bishop d7, which is inaccuracy. Actually best move was queen b6, b4, c5. Getting some space. But he played bishop b7. Gary Kasparov played a3. Black plays e5. Inaccuracy move. Best move was a5, before, expanding the pawns on queen side. Queen b6 and c5 is accurate. You have 70% pieces on left side, so you should coordinate your pieces. Then create some counterplay. E5 is inaccuracy because white can't play E5 or D5 because the pawn structure of white will be damaged. D5 is not possible because of this. Black have no problems in the center square until the white's rook gets involved. Then why you would you play E5 to polyph? And a very important thing. Your king is not castle yet. White will castle and use the D file, which is very bad for black. Gary played castle. Queen e7, he wants long castle. Black, can't do short castle. Gary played king b1. King b1 move plan is to play knight c1, get involve the knight to target the bishop. And I can see a variation where you can play knight c1 potentially and sacrifice your knight, if black castle long. Pawn takes knight, there is knight takes b5, targeting the d5 pawn with knight and rook with a check. Anyway Veselin played a6. Another inaccuracy move. Why you simply not play a5, b4. Or knight b6 and castle. a6 by Veselin. Knight c1. He wants knight b3. You shouldn't play stupid move knight d3 because it blocks the bishop line. Everyone have a hidden talent you shouldn't ignore the bishop. Veselin played castle. Knight b3. Pawn takes pawn. My core CPU says knight takes d4, which is best move but he plays rook takes pawn, 
inviting black to play c5. Rook back to d1. Because of c5, the pawn can't longer to guard d5 square. The d5 square becomes weak. So, Veselin played knight b6. g3. He wants bishop g3 check. Firing the diagonal. Because you can't move your bishop to this diagonal. Bishop d3, very genius move. I mean nonsense move. Black will play c4. Ha ha ha, it didn't happen. Veselin played king b8. Knight a5, targeting the bishop. King takes, then bishop g2. Slowly building the structure and snipering the king with bishop. So, Veselin played bishop a8. Bishop to h3, seized the diagonal and rooks are connected. He played d5. Queen f4 check, punishing his to overextend the king's pawn. King a7. Rook e1. d4. Knight goes to d5. His idea too is to get activated his rook. Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight. Queen d6. Offering queen exchange. Any normal person will play queen move or queen exchange or something a normal looking move. But Gary Kasparov is a stockfish subscriber, he goes for brilliant level. What does brilliant level means? Brilliant level means looks like impossible move but it's possible. My man played rook takes d4. My 50 depth CPU says it's a best move, but I will say it's a brilliant move. Because any normal engine even 2600 grandmaster can probably take the pawn. Veselin played c takes d4, accepting rook sacrifice. It's not queen takes d4 check because the queen will block. Rook e7 check. Knight blocks. Rook takes d7. Rook takes rook. Queen takes h8. Queen g1 check. King a2. Bishop takes d5 check. b3. Rook c7, targeting the pawn. Situation will be changed and white will lost all his advantages. It's rook e7 check, as a result, black will lose the game. Queen takes rook is not possible, for example if queen takes rook happen. Then queen takes d4 check. Every square is protected by the queen and knight. And after some moves. Knight c6 check. Bishop covering the c8 square c7 guarded. It will be mate, and also you can't play rook d7 because the queen will be gone. Rook takes queen is not possible because it's pinned. Knight d7 is not possible because the queen will be unsupported. King b8 is not possible because of queen takes d4. Threatening queen a7. If queen takes rook, then queen b6 check. The same trouble will come again. King a8, queen a7 checkmate. So, in this position he played king b6. Targeting the knight and the rook is hanging. Gary played queen takes d4 check. Sacrificing his knight. Gary Kasparov played b4 which is a brilliant move. King goes to a4. Queen c3. He wants king b2, queen b3 mate in the pawn cage. You can't play bishop takes pawn, let me show the variation. King b2. Rook h e8. Queen b3. And it will be mate? It is literally mate. I mean my man beat a super grandmaster with down 16 points of material. So, in this position he played queen takes d5. Rook a7, threatening mate in 1. Bishop b7. Rook takes b7. You can't take the rook. Because it will be mate. Queen c4 by Topolif. Queen takes f6. King takes a3. Queen takes a6 check. King takes b4. I want you guys pause the video and try to find the best move for Kasparov. 
go okay time up if you find c3 then you are correct queen takes c3 is not possible because there is mate in two king b2 is not possible let me show the variation queen a2 check queen b2 check king d3 rook e7 cutting off the diagonal every square is protected by the rook and queen and bishop f1 is coming rook h e8 bishop f1 mate game will be over for that reason he played king takes pawn queen a1 check only move otherwise white will lose all his advantages because he have bishop versus opponent's rook king d2 queen b2 check king d1 black couldn't play king e3 because there is mate in few moves king e1 the same trouble will come again king d1 bishop f1 you can't take the bishop because of queen c2 king e1 rook e7 check and black will be checkmated so he played rook to d2 both queens are hanging in this position you have only one move to win Pause the video and try to find the best move for Kasparov. Okay, if you find rook to d7, congratulation. You are correct. Rook takes queen is not possible, because it's pinned. White is threatening the queen and mate in one. So, rook takes d7. Bishop takes c4. Pawn takes c4 and you can't save the rook. Anyway you move your rook, queen c2, and it will be mate. So, in this position Veselin played pawn takes bishop, queen takes rook, rook d3. Black want to promote his pawn. It's not over yet, white have to play correctly. Queen a8, threatening queen a4 to stop promoting. c3. Queen a4 check. King e1. f4. Saving the pawn from black's rook. f5. King c1. Rook d2. Queen a7, best move. Threatening to play queen g1 check. And threatening the pawn. In this position Veselin to Polif resigned. Stay with me, let's see how the game will be end. Black have no chance. And after some moves later, it's checkmate. Thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.